here we are for round 17 in my career mode here in Japan. So, I mean, um, coming up to this, I still have quite a big lead over Hamilton, even so recently. He has been closing the gap back, and you can see now we're actually fourth. Um, so, Hamilton well ahead of us at the moment in qualifying. We actually call a cut a bit again and actually go what and wide a bit. That's going to throw us down to fifth place. So, we haven't actually had a good start to the lap, and we're, well, yeah, fifth place as a result. I mean, so probably the best we can hope for right now is fourth place, but definitely not the start we needed. So, you can enrich Mix trying to close down the gap, but down this long straight, we're just losing time to the Mercedes. Definitely, they have the fastest car on the grid right now as a result of their upgrades. You can see though Hamilton taking the fastest lap, and yeah, we are in the mega sixth, so sixth, not very good. But here we go now, start the race. And it's actually raining, so it's going to actually rain for the race, and you can see that actually we're going to be starting on the reds, and actually it's going to dry up towards the end of the race, so we might actually move on to intermediates, so seems to be an interesting race here. So we lights out where we go get Ricardo. We're gonna to try to get Verstappen now around the outside. Go a bit wide, but we actually yeah, we get him around the outside. We tag Kimi Raikkonen, and we lose a bit of time. We're actually gonna go all skew if but he managed to defend from Verstappen still. We're up into fourth, so it's been a good start for us. Indeed. Now we're trying to close in on Kimi Raikkonen. You can see right behind him, closing him down. There goes Verstappen. Oh, and we actually tagged him working and we tried to defend from Verstappen. We ended up going in late and we actually tagged the back of Raikkonen and we got front wing damage and that's really not going to help us. We're back down to fifth and we got Ricardo all over the back of us. So, yeah, a good start's going into a tragic run. And you can see the top three just pulled away, especially the two Mercedes. So we're going to make a move on Verstappen. He's going to lose a bit of time. We'll sort of call him up, go up there. And then we're going to see if we can catch up now. You can see Hamilton. Go a few seconds and we're going to cut up onto the next lap. We managed to actually go purple even with our front wing damage. So, Valtteri will probably be fighting for the lead right now. But see, we're setting our own purple lap. So, you know, lap three, we've gone wide. And actually, we're going to try to go around the outside of Kim Rikens. It's a bit cheeky, but it's sort of revenge. He's tapped us um, on the first lap and then we sort of broke our front wing on him. But we managed to get up into the third now. So, um, in what conditions we're actually literally flying right now? I mean, we actually have a chance of winning this considering we have front wing damage. So, here we go, though. Kimi Raikkonen is all over the back of us. We tried to go up the inside of Bottas. We corner cut a bit on the grass. He's going to squeal us out wide. We've gone wide, and actually, that's allowed Kimi Raikkonen to pass. We're lucky not to get swiped. And we're going to have to do it all over again now because we've lost the time. But again, on lap five, we can just close them on and on through these sectors. Closing now in lean mix. Here we go, it's a bit slower than our best lap, but that's too, sort of been to be expected as a result of the front wing damage. Here we go, cutting on to lap 6, and we've actually gone wide, you can see the front wing damage. Really not helping us in that first corner, we seem to be running wide quite a lot there. And uh, you can see, closing in on Raikkonen. You can see up the inside of Raikkonen, and we're going to go for a diving manoeuvre. We're going to be side by side with him, we're going to try to leave him space, and he's, yeah, he's going to get the position back. So, again, we tried to dive and it really didn't work. But, yeah, we're going to see if we can just keep closing him down. We've got a gap to the Red Bulls so we can... And the Mercedes have gapped us a bit. So, we're trying to get past Raikkonen now. We're going to try to... Well, we think about throwing it up the inside, but we actually back out of it. We see up ahead, though, Hamilton still leads Bottas. So, if it remains as it is, Hamilton will definitely be closing us down. I mean, I think he's got an 18-point lead or so, 19-point lead, so... It's really not help us if he actually wins this race. We're down in fourth. I mean, we would have been in a podium, but of course we tagged Bottas a bit. It's been quite an eventful race. You can see, I think Ricardo. I don't know what's happened to Ricardo. I mean, he was beside Verstappen, but you could now just see there's only one dot of the Red Bulls behind us. You can see there's a massive gap back to sixth, but you can see Verstappen's actually keeping with us quite well. Lap seven, we're cutting on to the end of it. And again, we still can't get past Raikkonen, but we're actually going to switch to the intermediate tyres because I think it's time to pull into the pits next lap, maybe. So he's definitely drying up, and it said on the forecast it was going to dry up. You can see it's visually raining less. Again, we're trying to go around the outside of Raikkonen. We're actually going to pull off on another move, going a bit wide, but we've got the position. Trying to defend from him now, see if we can bridge the gap to the Mercedes. But yeah, we've got to try to pit, get our new front wing, and hopefully we, if we make the right call, we'll be the fastest man on track and we can undercut the um 
Mercedes even with a front wing change. So you can see now closing them down. The Mercedes are getting close to them, but I think it's worth taking a risk because of the front wing damage. Yes, I've got the pace to keep up, but I don't think I've really got the pace to win at the moment. So I may as well risk it. I mean, even if I've got a championship lead, I mean, yeah, I may as well just go into the inters. It's definitely time for the inters. You can see we're sliding a bit. And we're going to dive in this lap. We look over a bullard. But yeah, there we are. We're going to dive in for the intermediates. And it's, yeah, it's a seven second pit stop. So quite good for a front wing change. And actually, we're going to come out in, wow. What would be P11, I think. Or P10. Yeah, it is P11. As Massa comes past, we defend from Stroll. The two Williams outside the point. So they've definitely been dominating the... um. Best of the rest status, but in this race, I mean, it's those the rain and Suzuka don't really suit them, but outside the point, so that's the first. You can see Grosjean's in front of us. I think Magnussen's in front of him, so the Haas team are doing quite well. Yeah, you can see the, the amount of grip we have. We go all the way around the outside of Grosjean from a long way back. So, yeah, it'll be definitely time for the intermediates, but we've only got a few laps to chase them down. And right now, I'm actually skeptical of people who are actually going to pit. You can see that, tagging the back of Magnussen, you, see, you can see how slow he's going on the apex. We nearly lose, well, we don't lose a front wing, fortunately, but we throw up the inside of Magnussen there. Trying to teach him a lesson. And Palmer's in seventh place, so Palmer's having a hell of a race right now, but unfortunately we're probably going to have to spoil the party. And actually I'm beginning to worry now, but we might have been the wrong choice, because we've only four laps to go, or three and a half laps to go. We've got to overtake a seven more positions if we want to win this race. You can see now Carlos signs up ahead. We're definitely closing them down rapidly, but you can see the monumental gap between fourth and fifth. Fifth being, um, I think, oh, I think it's Hulkenberg. So Hulkenberg's doing a great job in fifth. You can see the Renault's really working well now. Really, they've pulled in a lot of um, end of season developments, which is really suiting their car right now. We've got the entire signs out. We're going to try to get Hulkenberg. On the next mini straight, we out traction them. You can see the amount of traction we get over these guys on the wet tyres. So it's definitely time for the intermediates. You can see that just confirmation. We're setting the fastest lap. And onto the last lap, we were about 12 seconds behind them, but we're now five. So we might be able to get the stop but it's going to be tough, tough hours to get our teammate Bottas and Hamilton all on this lap. You can see the gap was five seconds. But you can see we're visually closing them down. You can actually see the stop now. And we're actually, it's down to two seconds. We closed in three seconds. In that sector, but the problem is we're going to have to try now to get past Verstappen. I mean, he's probably going to try to put up a bit of a fight. Knowing, knowing the um, boys in the Netherlands, but we're going to throw up the insides and we're up into fourth. You can see it's quite a big gap to Reichen, and we're going to see if we can bridge it. We've only got a few corners to go. It's definitely been the right strategy call, but right now we've actually lost the position as a result of it. If we didn't have the front wing change, though, we definitely would have won this race, but no, it's not going to be enough. And you can see that Reichen. He's going to take the final podium slot. So, yeah, not good news for us. See, Manor. Well, should be the Mercedes team are happy, but as I said, the Manor has switched Mercedes and Manor around. So, yep, just pretend that is the Mercedes team. You can see Verstappen actually ended up getting fifth. Remember, he overtook him on the last lap. You can see Hamilton wins. So, I think that's two wins on the trot now. He won in Malaysia, he's now won in Suzuka. So he's got the momentum, and I think that's going to close down the championship a bit. See, unfortunately, we went on the podium. He probably could be if he actually stayed on our original strategy, but you can see there, our, we, we did an extra stop, but we were only two seconds behind the leader. Ricardo had a mare of a race down in 15th place. And of course, you can see the, the Haas, we're doing, the Haas did well, and so did Renault. They did a really good job. So cutting on to the... Um, driver standing so you can actually see Hamilton has closed us down a bit which is not good news he's only six points behind us you can see that um, as all, although Williams resumed the best of the race races um, Renault actually got got a few more points and also um, Haas are closing in near the top flight as well anyway that's going to be it for this episode join us next episode for the USA